I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to today's CCNA slash CSENT practice exam on general router commands, a rather broad topic, and we're going to be covering a lot of ground with this particular 10 question practice exam set. As always, we've got a 10 minute time limit on the video, so we go through the questions fairly rapidly so we can discuss the answers at the end of the video. And feel free to pause the video for a few seconds to come up with your answer. Don't go out and Google it, of course, because that does kind of defeat the purpose of the entire thing. You will not be allowed to do that in the exam room. Let's take a look at question one and a couple of questions right off the bat about ROM, Flash, RAM, and NVRAM. Before you take these exams, you definitely need to know the contents of each of these, what's lost on a reload and what's not lost on a reload. And one of the things we have to know not only for an exam but to work with routers is where the iOS image is kept. By default, where does the Cisco router store its iOS image? Where by default is the router startup configuration file kept? RAM, ROM, Flash, or NVRAM? And if we need to know where the startup configuration is, it follows that we need to know where the running configuration is kept. Again, our choices, RAM, ROM, NVRAM, and Flash. Let's take a look at question four. A router is going to attempt to load its iOS image from where and in what order, again, by default. One of these six choices is the correct path, or correct order, I should say. Definitely something you want to know for the real world as well as the exams. Now, question five, to change the order of the correct answer to question four, what needs to be changed? I'm not looking for an exact command here, but just in general, what needs to be changed? So going back to question four, we were asked a router will attempt to load its image from what locations, its iOS image, and then we need to know in general how to change that order. Let's move on to question six. What keystroke will allow you to exit setup mode without saving any of the configuration you've written to that point. And we're all either, we've all either needed to do this at one time or another or you'll want to get out of setup mode sometime in the future. But we need to know what that keystroke is because once you're deep into setup mode you won't be able to see what that keystroke is on the screen. Now question seven, we've got a bit of a three-part question here, no multiple choice. First off, what does that T stand for on that first line where it says conf T? What does that T stand for? Now also, given this configuration, when a user is prompted for an enable password, what should the user enter to get in successfully? We have an enable password of Cisco and an enable secret of CCNA. And then finally, by default, which if any of these two passwords will be encrypted in the configuration. Let's move down to question eight. Which one of these four commands will display the configuration register value of a router? Now let's say you've just changed a router's configuration register setting. What do you need to do to make that take effect? Do you need to reload it manually? Is there going to be an auto reload after 60 seconds? Do you need to just save your change and do nothing else? Or, like many of the commands we use on a Cisco router, will it take effect immediately? Which one of those do you need to do? And then finally, let's look at question 10. What mode is this router in? Some of it runs together a little bit, but what mode is this router in? And that concludes the questions. We'll take a look at the answers here in just a moment. Just want to invite you to come out to the tutorials page, CCNA and CCMP tutorials. Got plenty of practice exams, tutorials, and videos, and more. You can either just come out to the bryantadvantage.com slash tutorials htm, or just search on CCNA tutorials, tutorials, that is, in Google. We're on the first page, usually in the top five matches. Let's take a look at the answers to these questions. And the first one here, the iOS images are stored by default in Flash. So the correct answer here was B. 
The startup configuration is kept in non-volatile RAM, NVRAM. And the contents of NVRAM are not lost on a reload, by the way. So here our start startup configuration is kept in NVRAM, where the running configuration is kept in RAM. Now let's take a look at this question where we were asked in what order or where will the router look for the iOS image. And the correct answer is actually A, it's the very top one. First, the router is going to try to load the image from Flash. And if none is found, it's going to look to a TFTP server. And if no TFTP server location has been defined by you and I as network admins, then the router will look to its ROM for an image. To change that order, you need to change the configuration register value. And you need to do that obviously with care, a great deal of care. If you want to exit setup mode without saving your configuration, then you want to use the control C keystroke. And the router will mention that at the very beginning of setup mode, but once you go into it for a couple of screens, you may not notice it. And of course, it won't be visible on the screen. You could scroll up and see it most likely, but it's easy to miss it because you've got so much other, t so much other type on the screen at that time. Now here, the T stands for terminal. It's configure terminal is what ConfT is short for. Now here, we had an enable password and an enable secret set. The enable secret will take precedence. So a user would need to enter CCNA, the enable secret, to get into enable mode. And by default, that is the only password of the two that will be encrypted. The enable password of Cisco would appear in clear text. Now this one seemed easy, maybe a little too easy, because we have a show config register command in the multiple choices, but that's actually not what you want to see. You want to run the show version command to see the configuration register setting. And you're going to see that at the very bottom of that command's output. It's not going to be at the top. Now with most Cisco router commands, we don't need to do any reloading or anything like that. Of course, there are always exceptions, and you'll see those through your studies. And this is one of them. You do need to reload the router to make a configuration register change take effect. And you have to do that personally. It's not going to auto-reload after any amount of time. Then finally, this is indeed setup mode. If you haven't seen it before, I wanted you to see it. It's going to ask you a series of questions. Would you like to do this? Would you like to do that? Some people really like it, some people do not, and that's why not just for the exam, but for the real world, I want to mention to you that you definitely want to know the keystroke to get out of here, and it is control C. I hope you enjoyed this 10 question practice exam. Got plenty more videos here, practice exams and tutorials on YouTube as well as on the website. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'll see you on the website.